Alex Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike. Dan? Looks familiar, but what are we drinking? Mike, I am barely breathing because <gasps> I am in the middle of the Drownlands. Oh! Uh, so it. this is All right. from Drownlands Brewing Company. Ooh. And uh, they're out of Warwick, New York. Oh, okay. Right next and to this is their Deep Terra Double India Pale Ale coming in at 8.2 ABV. <laughs> now, there are two... Sounds like it has Motueka in it. <laughs> well, Correct the, me the, if I'm wrong. The, the OG did. Think I... So the OG one had uh, Motueka, Wakatu, and Cashmere. And this one is it's, Citra, it has, it has Mosaic, too, right? no? oh. and oh. Cashmere. So, yeah. All right, I guess we can uh, still drink it. No canned on date. What? Yeah. All those lines no, on there? They tried, but it didn't oh, work Oh, okay. Out. All right. So they tried. They they, I, you know what? Yeah. Give me uh, Burning Can of Warwick, New York. Glad to see you. Dirt Rich. There's so much line. Slow down, right stay a while. I like it. Uh, so I've had Drownlands. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I've had Drownlands. Uh, Not we've often, never had them on though. the channel though. Yeah, which so, is crazy. ironically, I picked this up in the local Wegmans. Of course you did. Which to me that's kind of weird because I don't see them in a lot of the bottle shops what Wegmans got. <laughs> And I was like, I mean, I'm not going to yeah. fight it. I'm happy about it. But, Dan, it. you're in your magic Wegmans that just gets yeah. beer from everywhere. I was like, okay, I'll try Dr Drownlands out. Well. Uh, full transparency, I did have this. I bought a four-pack, uh, but I did save one to review. Oh, but when I drank it, I just drank it to drink it. It's nice to do once in a while. Yeah. Uh, that looks delicious. Uh, orange, kind of tangerine, uh, light creamy, poured some milk and orange juice kind of yeah. color. Uh, thick foamy head on it. Looks really good. Yeah, it does. Um, I might let you take point on this just because I, I did drink it before, but no, no lemon lime. That I oh, right. I forgot. No, uh, I like uh, there's everything about this beer on the nose for me mm -hmm. is candied. Like it's very sweet. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it's um very orange gummies those, so those sugar coated orange gummies. yeah they got some oats in here and stuff so oh yeah you did say it's an oat cream right yeah okay okay uh it does it, it tastes like a sweet citrus uh beverage again look i can just shove my whole <laughs> mouth and nose in at the same time yeah i remember one of us was talking about how these aren't good for smelling but you know they are <laughs> that's dead <laughs> cheers Mm. Oh, yeah. A lot of candied citrus notes to it. Uh, it's sweet. It's orange. Um, there's some lemon in there. A uh, little bit of maybe pineapple. Um, it, it's sweet, but it what's the 8-2? Eight, 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 yeah. 8-2, eight, yeah. Um, it's sweet. I don't know if it's getting up there in triple sweet, but... To me, you know what it, mm, you know what it comes off as? Uh, there's like some kind of dirty melon in there. But I just got that on there. If that you stuff. took like, like the sweet glaze that you put on like a Krispy Kreme donut and put it on some Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. It's very specific. And, yeah. Okay. Like, because you get the fruitiness from the Fruit Loops, but yet you get that kind of cereal grain, weedy, oaty thing. But that sweetness is like that vanilla kind of glaze. She's got Krispy Kreme. Is it McDonald's? Are they the ones that are going to start selling I, I Krispy Kreme? I think they're going to start making burgers. Couple Krispy Kremes and like a, you know, that's a hack. A you order like a crispy McDonald's. Order like a quarter pounder. Yeah. And then say, I'll take a Krispy Kreme. And then you cut it and use that as the bun. Oh, boy. We're just. My heart just like kind of <clears throat> really quick. But, but I feel like we got to try it. For science. For science. Um, Don't do it, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ours. That's ours, Poppy. Um, he doesn't watch us. <laughs> Um, yeah, like right when you mentioned it, like that, uh, the melon, the really ripe melon with the flesh, the cantaloupe, uh, mm. came out right in the forefront. Um, there's a nice little, uh, just the slightest hint of drying bitterness on the back, but it kind of gets washed away by fruit juice so, pretty quick. Uh, when I did drink it, I did want to check it in. <laughs> I checked it in incorrectly, by the way. Um, I said sweet oats, mm. lemon and lime. Okay. 
Starfruit mixed with a steady pineapple. Body is higher side and medium with a creamy feel. Sweet mango pops are very fruity. You ever eat a handful of like uh, three leaf clovers? Totally. Yeah, that's what. There's that in here too. A bit of four leaf. Mm. I think you're supposed to eat those. It's like uh, it's like mutilating a leprechaun or something. Yeah. It's um the the only not I think the the one knock on the spear, to be honest, is I wish maybe it had a slightly more bittering. Uh, I wish I had a, a little bit more of a bittering component to kind of combat the um, the intensity of the richness of the... That, that's where I'm getting the, the three-leaf clovers, that, that fresh-cut grass in there. I get it, it shows up. I think, like I said before, I think it shows up on the back of the palate, but the juice just washes it away fairly quickly so it doesn't really hang around so maybe like if you're saying very like, juicy the bitterness hung around a little bit more yeah to balance it out but this this is pretty good i like this yeah and the fact i, I picked up at wegman's i think it was like uh 20 bucks for four pack i mean that that's great so yeah <laughs> for, for this kind of beer 8.2 yeah i'm in this is delicious i just want to like go back and see yeah do they get more yeah no, it is very good. <laughs> no, what, what, good. what do you rate it? Uh, I'll give it a. I'll give it a. Yeah. The same number. Farfin Nugan, four point one. Okay. Uh, Erstigan Ajabija Ball. I give it a four point two five. After all. Let me give it the first time. Let's see. I don't know. It's a different beer. I give it 4.25. So oh, I know. Look at that. Look at that. Um, yeah. Drown Drown lands. Lands. I'm glad we finally got them. I can't believe finally we got them on channel. before. Yeah. I, I feel like it's one of those beers that, like, at least me, I'll drink once in a while. I'll grab it. Like, if I'm at AJ's or something, I like, grab it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I haven't had a Drown Lands in a while. Yeah. Them down my I, I feel like, you know, it's, it, it's <laughs> nice because it's, it's another uh, brewery in New York. And, yep. Uh, you yep. Know. Absolutely. So, so Not in FLX, but. That's okay. New York. Okay. Still the same. Right. Uh, Drownlands, they won some uh, awards at the... They did. Uh, New York State Craft Beer. Oh, excuse uh, me. Competition. Man, that was a delicious burp. Oh, all right. All right, gang. Until next time, link tree down the bottom, everything we got going on. Check us out. Cheers. Yeah, cheers.